guys, welcome to today's video. I have a very special guest with me today. This is my beautiful mama. Hello everyone. I am so excited that we're doing this video together today. We are actually going to be having a conversation. I'm gonna ask her some questions that are some really good questions that hopefully you guys can learn from because I always go to my mom for advice. Our video today is in collaboration with Victor and Rolf. So we have some beautiful perfume bottles right here. These are actually the flower bombs. And this one's for my mama. I customized Love it for it. her. Um, this would make a really great Mother's Day gift. It is for Mother's Day, so it is for my mama. So now with 1,000 flowers in each bottle of flower bomb, this fragrance creates the biggest bouquet for Mother's Day. You can truly make this gift to your mom even more special by customizing the bottle, which was so much fun. You can then choose a really fun accessory, including a ribbon bow, a satin flower, a sparkling bow, and a tool collar. And last but not least, you can add engraving. You can add your name, your mom's initials, a special saying, something that truly is meant for her. Your name que algo especial para la persona, como no? Que tenga tu nombre, que te, te den un regalo y con tu nombre lo hace todavía más especial. Yeah. So starting with question number one. What was the lesson that you learned as a child that you felt was really important for you to teach us? My parents and my grandparents, they taught me that I have to respect, to, yeah. I have to have a respect for everybody, like no matter how they look, no matter who they are. I told them everybody's different and we, we look the way we are because God makes us like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, mommy. I don't remember you specifically like telling me that, like that I have to respect others, but you would do that. Like you never like judged anybody or said anything about anybody to us. You know, you were never criticizing other people and by your actions, that's how I picked it up. You know, that's how, that's why I am the way that I am with Isaac too. So I think it just, in generations, yeah. it carries through like generations good things or bad things yeah i think respect is one of the most beautiful and most important ones mommy respecting other people yeah and that way if you respect that if you have, if you have to respect like for others yeah they're gonna have to respect you yeah that's true yeah. mama so now this one i think is also really important um it's about getting older because that's something that no matter what if you're blessed to live another day it's going to happen to all of us and I think because of what we see on TV, on social media, we see a lot of perfection. Mm -hmm. We don't really see people embracing getting older, which is something that's gonna happen to all of us. How do you feel about getting older? You know what? Um, it was around my 30s when I started to feel like, oh my God, I'm gonna be another year older and uh, I, feel that that way, that, that, I feel that way mom I feel that way I'm like 31 so one day your father told me like uh, when I was telling him I don't want to celebrate no more birthdays I don't want to even know when my birthday is nothing at all because you don't like birthday <laughs> parties mom you still don't like birthday parties yeah but uh, he, he just, said okay will you rather rather being dead dead than to live another year and celebrate your birthday and I said oh my god he's right and I started to see the light a little bit different well a lot different and I saw myself in the mirror and I said okay I look I still look young yeah I still look beautiful and I don't care about the how old I am I'm just going to enjoy the life and live the best as I, as I can. Yeah. I think because we get caught up in a number, you know, like I'm 30, I'm in my 40s, I'm in my 50s, 60s, like it starts to feel like, like, wow, you're getting older. And especially like, I think what makes us feel this way, mom, is that society just values and puts young people on a pedestal. And, you know, people with a lot of wisdom who have lived a lot of life and have so much to offer and have offered are put in the back. I, I think, think it depends a lot on how you eat, how you, you 
take care yeah. of yourself. Yeah. You, if you You're do fast. exercise and you think right, yeah. you're positive in yeah. your life and and the attitude that, that you take. Like, you know, because yeah. you could be like, oh, I'm like, I'm 50 years old, I'm old, I'm done with life, and that's it, I'm 50, it's over for me. Or you can take a different approach of like, my life is, is starting. Like, I could start anything that I want at any yeah, age. Yeah, and I heard some people sometimes at like 40s or 30s, oh my God, it hurts here because I'm old. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah, no, yes, mommy. So many people say this, like, oh, I'm getting old. Even 30 year olds, like, yeah. I, I hear that to like, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting old. My knees are starting to hurt, and it's like, yeah. Knees hurt for knees young hurt. people too. Yeah. And you know what you said, mommy? Like for me, getting older, sometimes I feel like a little like I'm getting older and it's just happening so quickly. What you said is so true. Do you rather be dead and not experience anything else? Or mm -hmm. do you rather get older and grow older and yeah. experience life? Because it's one or the other, you know? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. The last question that I have has to do about motherhood. Because I am a mother to an eight-year-old little boy who is just getting older and growing up every day and I just notice his changes on a daily. You know, mommy, he's just yeah. like a big boy. He really is. And I often look back at all the little baby pictures and I'm just like, I miss where that little my baby? baby. And where is my little <laughs> baby? You know, like, where is he? Um, but he's eight now. And I want to know, since you have four daughters who are, you know, adults now, like, do you feel like our childhood went by so fast that you really didn't get to enjoy you having little girls? Uh, I wish to have more time to enjoy you guys because uh, you went to the army at 18 and my other daughter got married at 17 and that's so young. That's so young. I know. So I feel that I didn't enjoy you guys like enough you're enjoying wendy though <laughs> right you are enjoying wendy mom yeah, that's the only one yeah 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 but i, I wish i could have you guys like more time yeah and you know what mommy like also there's some days that like i love my life and i love being married and having my own family but there's some days that i was just like i really miss just those days where I had my room in the house and I lived there and I feel like I was just in such a rush to grow yeah. up. Like why? Why was why? I trying to just get out the house and be an adult? Every stages of our life, we should enjoy them and, and enjoy not try to get them. over it. And yeah. you know, but I understand that like a teenager, you just, you don't want, you want to grow up. You just want to grow up and do your own thing and yeah. all of that. But you're going to have time for all of that. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my very first video with my mama. I had a lot of fun. Me just too. Asking I have a lot you of fun questions, too. and I learned a few things. Because usually we talk all the time, but I think you know today for the video, I think you said more. I <laughs> <laughs> also, my mom has a YouTube channel. Tell me about your Corazón YouTube channel. Corazón y belleza Teresa. It's about hair tutorials, crafting, uh, crafting knitting. Right? Knitting. Is it knitting? Yeah. Knitting is the same thing, isn't that? Tejiendo? Crochet. Yeah. Oh yeah, crochet. Yes, mm -hmm. you do a lot of that. And my mom posts all the time, guys. All the time. So you guys make sure to subscribe to her channel. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.